this Wetumpka revitalization. You know, we're finding our groove with Charlie and Farrell and Josie and the team. We have 12 projects to do, four months to do them, and just saying that out loud kind of makes me want to cry. <laughs> so the expectation for Ben and Aaron to do well here is, is pretty high. But also, what we're starting to see is more community involvement. They're interested in helping. They're interested in doing all that they can to help us be successful. What are you most excited about seeing? The Big Fish House. It's my favorite movie ever, 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 ever. The Big Fish House is iconic to Wetumpka. It's a beacon. I can't wait to see what they're going to do. I'm still shocked <laughs> and stunned. The Whitfields moved there from Colorado three years ago. Shelly, she's the Chamber of Commerce director. Anyone who wants to run the Chamber of Commerce obviously cares a whole lot about where they live. We came over the bridge having never been here before and saw the big house up on the hill, not realizing it was a movie set. Big Fish is a movie that was directed by Tim Burton in 2003. Wetumpka and all the like neighboring communities were used as the locations. We had these high hopes that we were gonna be able to do great things and save the Big Fish house. It's taken way more time and way more money than we have. Wade, you're really taking some aggression out on that. You have no idea. This is going to be a massive project because the house is in bad shape. On top of the pressure that comes with renovating a house that's iconic and has been in a movie. That is the reason people visit your town from all over the world. It's going to be a very important project because this is what kickstarts the morale around here. Let's get away from the dust in the it's kitchen. It's crazy in there. It is. I want to talk to you about the holes. Okay. I have slowed the movie down and like freeze framed every angle of the dining room. And this was a sconce. They had sconces on all those oh. holes, but they were not actually wired. They just hooked them to extension cords. Like a prop and ran the extension cords oh, upstairs wow. where they plugged them in. Which explains all the extension cords that were all over upstairs when we moved in. Mystery solved. Yeah. We'll get these holes wired up correctly and I'm gonna try my best to track down some sconces. So many things that you have to think about in renovating an old house. On top of that, this is a movie set. I mean, it's a prop. Yeah. We're not really sure what we're gonna open up. No idea. So we got Joyce coming across, holding the ceiling up. The old roof is running up and it's sitting on this wall. Picture a house and then set another house teetering on top of it. That's what we're working with. When they built the second story for the movie, they didn't remove the old roofing. They just built it right on top. They just left all the scraps in the ceiling. <laughs> Hollywood construction. Mm-hmm. All right, keep demoing. It's very important to the city to see this house become beautiful again. What Aaron and I are doing here in Wetumpka is a lot of pressure. We're just going to transfer that pressure from Shelly and Wade that the community is placing on them to fix the house right over onto us. We're just going to go ahead and take all that pressure. There is a lot of stuff going on at the Whitfields house. Charlie and Josie are working on structural changes so that we can have that big open kitchen to the dining room. You know, the Big Fish is not a movie house anymore. They put a house on top of a house. We had to unbuild what they had done and put in enough structure to support the loads. So we put this really big beam in to support the second floor. The guys are working on the staircase hanging drywall, floors are getting refinished. We are really moving upstream with the Big Fish House. Wetumpka, Alabama. Look at this place. This is incredible. I'm Wendell Holland. I am a custom furniture designer and builder from Philadelphia, PA. All my pieces are ready to go. I'm very new to the HGTV family, but to be a part of something like this, it's so special. Small town revitalization is tremendously important. Small towns are the heartbeat of the country. Let's see what's going on in this big fish house. Hey, Wendell, how you Yo, doing, man? what's up? You must be Charlie. I am. French doors look good, man. Let's get this bad boy in. 
So as far as these French doors, obviously the window's coming out, the door's coming out. Yeah, because you know, in these older style Victorian type homes, they just have like a single wall galley kitchen. And so we're just trying to give them a lot more space. The French door is big. So not only does it allow us access to the porch, it allows us actually more light in than the windows did to begin with. <laughs> Wonderful. This is one of the busiest streets that heads toward downtown Wachumpka. So we really think the first impressions on this street are everything. So we organized a little bit of a paint party with Wendell and he's gonna be in charge of the project. About to paint every front door on this block. Very excited. Color psychology is a real thing. And I think painted doors really make a street feel friendlier. Hello guys. Hey. Oh What's up everybody? Hey. You ready to paint? We're ready. Everyone gets to pick their own color. What do you think? Oh, like great. that? I love the color, it's beautiful. Me too. <laughs> Make sure you get the underside too. Right. Mr. Ollie, you're doing a great job over there, my friend. Hello, friend. I'm Wendell. Oh, we know who you are. Yes. How are you? I'm, I'm doing well. This door is quite the entryway. And this color. It's a bold house. It needed a bold front door. <laughs> Beautiful. It's going to make the house pop like he said. It's really fun to see the colors and really fun to see that people are excited. I think it inspires people to want to do more. If everybody does one small little thing, paint their front door, plant some flowers, that can just lead on and on and on until lots of little things are done and it's now a big thing. The outside of this house is iconic. It's what people come to see. But the inside is for the Whitfields. It's got to be comfortable. It has to feel personal and just like them. This piece right here is from 1898. Nothing like the last minute also. I think they'll be here in like an hour to do an iconic house for a town. There's that pressure. Yeah, but I feel really good about the things we've done here. Hey! Hey, guys. Hey, friends. Wow. Ah! Are you so relieved oh that this my is gosh. fish? Yeah. It looks like it does in the movie. No rot. No, no rot. rot. We had to have some of the siding custom made wow. to match what was here. It's so perfect. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Very nice. Look at the fence. <gasps> Look at that door. <laughs> yeah, we got you new planners to match the front door. It's yellow! <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> it's not even the same house. I know everyone says that, but it's not. These rockers are in oh my gosh. ship shape. They're, they're like beautiful. brand new, even though they're nearly 20 years old. Oh, look at these. Just sitting here rocking on the porch oh, in the big fish not... house. <laughs> Oh. We've got to keep this dream alive. We've got to keep this dream alive. My God. Look at this. Didn't look anything like this in the movie, <laughs> but it did have a gallery wall that went up the stairs, mm -hmm. so that was paying tribute to mm -hmm. what was in the movie. Oh my gosh, it's the kids working so hard. Oh, you guys. Look at the stairs. The spindles, every piece is reclaimed from different places in Wetumpka. Oh, I love it. Yes. All right, go see your living room. There's wallpaper. You put wallpaper back. Shelly, it's not just any wallpaper, it's the wallpaper. This is the wallpaper they made. It's inspired by the movie. We sent it to a wallpaper manufacturer. They replicated the design as closely as they could. They custom printed this wallpaper just for your house. It is just awesome. And the sconces are back. The same sconces. Oh my god. The tile on the fireplace, the paint you on the fireplace. You did it, only it's new and pretty now. It's Huge! I know. <laughs> I know. I mean, looking at it, you're just thinking, how amazing is this? Like, I don't have to be 
embarrassed anymore or feel like I'm letting anyone down anymore. Like this is perfect and beautiful and like the whole town can be proud of that. I just can't tell you how much we appreciate the opportunity to do this. It's maybe the only house I love almost as much as my own house. It's yours whenever you want. <laughs> we'll be back to visit if that's right. okay. We are so excited. We're gonna have a movie night with our friends at the Big Fish House. Seeing this house renovated, it brings light to the town um, because it is the, the star of downtown Wetumpka, this house. They've done a lot for the town. They just deserve it so much and we're so excited for them. All the improvements going on downtown as a whole, it's just been an energy and it's so positive. We're just chipping away a little bit more at this revitalization. And in doing so, we've helped the community. We still have a lot of work left to do. There's still a lot of community that needs some help. <laughs>